Hello, it's Tail, um, continuing with a new day in the life of of uh, Mr. Fishington Chip, the dastardly World War One top with camel pilot. It's July the 30th. Weather is completely clear, and it's 35 degrees centigrade. That's hot. Um, let's see what we shall be doing today. The squadron was reinforced by four top with camel aircraft. Good. The following personnel were added to the squadron. Sergeant Lawrence Holmes, Sergeant Nicholas Knight, Nick Knight. <laughs> Isn't he, uh, he sounds like he should be an 80s kind of undercover cop. Nick Knight. And then there's Lieutenant Gideon Robinson. That's a bit more uh, the time period we're dealing with here. Gideon Robinson. And then there's second, uh, I should be saying Lieutenant. Not Lieutenant, I'm not an American. Second Lieutenant Philip Atkinson and Lieutenant Tobias Matthews. Okay. Fresh mail was delivered to the squadron. I don't understand the, the, the mail side of things. I don't know where we read the mail. If we can actually get any mail. Um, it's not, it doesn't appear to be in the personal room. It's still loading something. Come along. Squadron room. This is just all the squadron personnel and kills and everything. World news. Mm, apparently not. Reports. No reports. Yeah, I don't know what the the mail thing is all about. Um, okay, well let's look at the missions then. So we've got a protection patrol taking off, which I'm not taking part in. Another protection patrol at 9am, which I will be taking part in. Balloon attack, which doesn't concern me, and then the fence patrol, which again does not concern me. So I am only flying one mission today. Nick Knight is getting his first outing with the squadron. Maybe once I've had a bit more experience, they'll send me on a few more missions. Um, okay, well, let's see what happens here. Let's get to our first mission. Thank you, everyone, by the way, for continuing to like and support and share the videos. I appreciate it. And remember, if you do wish to support me financially in my efforts, then you can do so at my Patreon page, patreon.com slash forward slash tailmange patreon.com tailmange and uh, even one dollar a month will be appreciated It'll allow me to make more videos and make them better um, so yep let's um, begin the mission here I will click begin mission and then um, skip the map skip the loading and uh, skip straight to the map here we go and here we are uh, quote of the day. Of course, everyone knows the Major is mad. I don't think he ha was ever more happy in his life than when attacking those Huns. Gwilym Hugh Lewis, or Gwilym, Gwilym, I think it's a Welsh name, speaking of Lionel Rees VC, eight victories. All right then, so we're heading, as usual, past the target, across the lines, all the way to this aerodrome here at Falempin just north of Camfin. Um, yeah, light cirrus clouds, wind is only one meters per second. Flight leader for today will be Philip Atkinson. I shall be flying with Lawrence Holmes, Richard Fisher, and the aforementioned Gideon Robinson with, on his first uh, patrol with the, the squadron. Rendezvous with the two-seaters, body blah, taking off at 9 a.m. Okay, let's do this. Okay, need to recalibrate the truck IR. There we go. Remember to cock the guns. Increase the fuel mixture. And let's light this baby up. Green flare. Green for go, go, go. There are those two seaters. RE8s, probably. Um, so, as usual, we lower the fuel mixture slightly after starting up the engine. 
see here. I wonder if there's a way to move around this view kind of manually and like zoom around looking at different planes like a free view kind of thing. I might have to um, investigate that but um, in the meantime we are taking off now and away we go. Mixture of triplanes and camels today. I don't actually have the triplane in my rise of flight plane collection so to speak haven't bought it I think maybe when they have a another sale oh god what happened there that was a new guy that was Gideon what have you done Gideon for god's sake I hope he's still alive probably will be yeah, he's alive. Just his uh, hurt pride. Oh God! Oh, that's what happens when you uh, when you're not in control of the plane for a while. Probably will stall. Uh, to manage to catch it in time. But uh, I didn't know that could happen. That uh, AI planes could crash on taking off, presumably on landing as well. But that means we're going to be one down for this patrol, which isn't great, although if that's the standard of Gideon's um, airmanship, then maybe it's a good thing. Uh, let's see, are these the two-seaters? Yes, they are. So I need to keep with my squadron mates. Kind of weaving around at the moment. Is that a flak up there? Yeah, it is. Um, okay, so interesting takeoff there from our rookie. A few kind of graphical glitches as well in the game for some reason. Hopefully, those will sort themselves out. Um, Alright, I will cut here and come back if something amazingly interesting and entertaining occurs. Okay, you join me now, climbing rapidly, we're at 6,000 feet, and I'm following one of my squadron mates, but I think he may have broken off from our assigned duty. I don't know where the two-seaters are we are uh, uh, escorting, but this plane up ahead appears to be an enemy plane, I think. Yes, it is. Oh god, what have I got myself into here? And I'm stalling. Uh, what is this? Is this an albatross? Could be. Taking a few pot shots there. Where's my colleague? He's very near me. So I've got myself into a dogfight with a lone albatross, it seems. Um, but with my squadron mate as. Porter. Oh god. Oh, there's three of us now. Where'd the enemy go? There! Oh, Jesus. Alright, let's try a little swoop across here. Now, this is dangerous because of all the, the friendly planes sort of flying around. He 
You don't want to crash into a friendly, because that would be unfortunate. And there he goes. He's lost a wing. Oh god! Oh no! My engine! I've over revved my engine. Okay, okay. Uh, I need to head back to base. I did not keep an eye on my revs. That was silly of me. Uh... Yeah, you can hear bits of my engine kind of rattling around. I just need to hope that there aren't any other enemy planes around. I'm crossing the lines now. That's one of my friends. Yep, so you get this um, pretty ob obnoxious um, oil effect on the goggles, which we can't wipe off. makes it very difficult to navigate. But I need to head southwestwards. Obviously I do have the external view so I can cheat to an extent. Don't want to dive too far, I don't want to do any more damage to this engine. Um, but I shouldn't cheat really, I should try and do it properly. And there's a forest over there. That's the line, so... This might be this area on the map here. There is a lake in the middle of no man's land, which could be this lake here. That would make sense. Oh god. Oh god, okay, okay, so the engine has stopped. Now, this is good news and bad news, really. The good news is I won't have oil coming at me anymore, hopefully. Bad news obviously is I don't have an engine. Um, so I am now a glider. I need to find somewhere to land. Don't, let's not dive too steep, we don't want to lose The advantage I have in height. Uh, when, where is this airfield of mine? I think it's going to be south of here. That village over there in the distance could well be La Target. In fact, I can see the airfield next to it. My airfield will be too far away for me to reach, I think. Uh, my best bet, I think, will be to head for this field over here. I'll try and make it to the airfield. At least now we can hear the, uh, the rustle of the wind past my ears. Just make sure I'm not being followed by anyone. Take a look at my comrades, that's the, the uh, RE8s, uh, the camels still presumably continuing on their protection patrol. How high am I? 2,000 2, feet. I could make this. I'm going at around 70 miles an hour. Although I'm losing height fairly quickly. I'm not going to make this airfield. I need to find a field. That seems a nice open area behind me where that road is. Good thing is I'm now obviously on my side of the line so I shouldn't have any fear of being captured. There's a camp down there as well which I can gain assistance from on landing presuming I survive. 
So this will be my first dead stick landing, I believe it's known as, where you don't have any engine power. There's a factory over there as well. Okay, let's keep an eye on nice speed. Just looks like it could be a little bit hilly, which is not ideal. Yep, I'm kind of coming up towards uh, the crest of a hill. Speed is dropping. Here we go. Uh, da, 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 don't. Ooh, good. I'm safe. Safe and sound. Okay. Well, that should teach me for not keeping an eye on the RPM and not, uh, well, forgetting to lower the throttle when in a dive because that will overspeed the engine and cause damage. I've now damaged a perfectly good engine which. Will have to be repaired. This plane will have to be towed or I don't know, um, loaded onto a truck and carted back to the airfield. So I've caused a great deal of embarrassment to my squadron. I've let myself down. What's happening elsewhere? This is an RE8. I don't think it's one of ours. Still got its bombs. Uh, these are the ones which I believe we should be escorting. They don't have any bombs on them, and are they heading? They're still heading outwards to the target, so it must be a reconnaissance flight rather than a bombing run. Lots of flat going off. This is presumably be my leader, whose name I can't remember. Philip something, I think. Um, let's speed up time, see if they get into any scrapes. Doop, 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 doop. Doesn't look like it, they're just circling around. Are there any enemy planes around? That's a good question. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay, this squadron appears to be scrambling. Maybe. They haven't landed. Yes, they are. And this might be where my, my fellow airmen are. At this, um... Let me see here. For Lempin Airfield. That's probably why they're scrambling. And then we have, what's this? German two-seater plane. And then these guys. Now, will they be able to take off in time? Is this the airfield they're taking off from? I can't see them. Uh, let's see where we are. Uh, I think it's this one they're taking off from. La Neuville. That would make sense. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to catch my fellow airmen, though. I think I can see them up there. Hmm. Hmm. I would like to keep watching this because I want to know what find what um what happens if there's a fight. Okay, so here are the camels. Are they coming down to meet this threat, or are they just going to fly away? They might just be flying away. They've got every right to. This guy's making some weird movements. Has he got some damage? No, he's just waggling his... Uh, 
Elevators. For no good reason whatsoever. Is that a signal or what? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to skip time here and see if there is a confrontation. If not, then I'll just end the mission and um, end the video. So I didn't manage to get a kill. Did have a confrontation with a lone albatross, but uh, someone else managed to get him. It doesn't look from this as though there's going to be any fight here. Though they've got a long way to go to get to our side of the lines. Moving the mouse around like crazy. Yeah, I don't think... Um, what's the enemy doing here? They're still flying around their airfield, so... Yeah, they weren't able to scramble in time. And I'm still here in my plane. And there's no way to bail out. Alright, finish flight. So, learns an important lesson there. So, it was an informative mission, if not a um, particularly entertaining one. Lawrence Holmes got the kill. Gideon Robinson crashed on takeoff. And no one... I crashed as well, but only because I uh, was stupid enough to um, not manage my engine. What is this? Is this a, looks like a skull with a cap on it. Incomplete. Objective not reached. I guess that's because I ended the mission prematurely. Um, but it would have taken a while for, to watch all those planes get all the way back and land and, you know. So, never mind. Let's move on. They shot down, or Lawrence shot down, Ludwig von Weissacker. Weissacker? Could be, in an Albatross D3. Um, not Oh, he's in Jasta, Jasta, rather, 33, which I know nothing about. I'm sure someone else will. Next mission. Um, let's just see what happens for the rest of the day, and then I can end the video and move on to the next exciting instalment. Oh, this one looks like a, a exciting one. So there's a balloon attack, and uh, we shot down three planes. We shot down... Sven Hahn in Albatross D5A, Sebastian Otto in a DFWCV, and those and uh, Joseph Martin also in a DFW, and those are two seaters. And Anthony Wells, Jeffrey Bailey, and Philip Atkinson got kills on that mission. I wish I'd been on that one. Did anyone die? No one died. Looks like we all came through pretty well, and we got the balloon, which is important. Next mission, I think that was another protection patrol, if I remember correctly. <sighs> uh, offensive patrol. And again, it was an uh, exciting mission. How come these guys get all the action? Um, Gideon Robinson managed to shake off his embarrassment to record his first kill. Stefan Lang in a DFW. And then Jeremy Chapman got two in his triplane. Carl Lehman and Lucas von Trotha. Members of the, oh, members of Yasta Bulk and Lawrence Holmes downed Otto Pfeiffer, all of them in albatrosses. So we managed to inflict some heavy casualties on, on Yasta Bulk today, the famous Yasta. Um, and then it's going to be next day. So that's it for um, July 30th on to July 31st. Thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you next time.